In this video, you're going to see the basic workflow for image adjustments. So the first thing I'm doing here is I'm just very quickly making a copy. So command C, command V, and then I drag and drop that into Photoshop to open up. So you can see the image here is a little dark. So I'm going to start by making adjustments. So I start with my levels adjustment layer. I'm just going to brighten this up a little bit by moving my highlight slider over. Click the eye to turn it on and off so you can see the change. And then a little mid-tone adjustment. I think I'll go into curves just to do a little more fine tuning on the tones in this image. I'm going to bring the shadows up a tiny bit more. Bring up those mid-tones. Okay, looking pretty good. Looks better. Um, not totally happy with the color of this. It seems the reds are jumping up a little bit and it's a little warm. So I'm going to go in mid-tones, highlights, and shadows and just take some of those yellows and reds out and just try to get the skin tone looking a little more natural. Sometimes you pull it too far on purpose just to remind your eyes what you're after. It's getting close. Looks better than it was. Um, so that's color balance. I can still do hue saturation to get a little bit of that redness out. So go in just under the red, just not that much, just desaturate a little. Pretty minor change. Okay, so there you go. Um, one other thing I do is add an unsharp mask, but before I do that, I need to select my, whoops, I have to make sure I select my background layer, and then I'm gonna convert to smart object. Then I like to do my unsharp mask filter, and I do that so that when I save this as a PSD, I can go back and edit it. If I over sharpen, I can go back and change it later because I've converted to a smart object. And there it is, you can see it down there. And if I double click on unsharp mask, I can um, bring it back up. A little crop just to get me in the center a little better. So now my image is cropped. I've applied all my tonal and color corrections. So I'm gonna do a save as. So I'm just gonna save not as a uh, Photoshop document. And I saved this as a Photoshop document because I want to be able to go back and edit it later. I can. These adjustment layers will all be available to me. So this now is my master archive. So this is where all my changes, my edits, my color corrections were made.